major problem with how climate affects our livestock is heat stress. Now, in the temperate region, people are, they are concerned during the summertime with heat stress, but they also have cold stress in the wintertime. But in our situation here, we are particularly concerned with heat stress. Um, one of the issues too is that our producers have imported a lot of what we call, um, you know, high production uh, animals to improve the productivity of our animals. And most of the, that genetic comes out of the temperate region. Our climate tends to, um, to be prejudiced against that kind of the uh, genetics so that you find once you move towards the greater production there's more um, more stress placed on the animal system and so there's more heat production and then with our climate those animals gonna come under stress so that in a lot of instances you may find that the production you get is not that much higher than our local animals, and then those animals are more susceptible to the disease and so on around. So what we are looking at, there are two, the two, two elements in the climate that have importance to us in terms of looking at developing a warning system is our temperature and the humidity. Because that temperature humidity is now factored into an index we call the temperature humidity index. And that in itself donate stress or strain on the animal metabolism and on the system. In reacting with, the, um, with those climate scientists and so on, they mainly were talking about the prediction of high temperatures. But no one was talking at the time about the prediction of humidity for us to be able to link that high temperature with humidity to be able to develop that thermal index that we need for livestock. You could predict temperature and you could predict humidity in the future. Then you could also tell what to expect. Now, what we would have to do, we would have to train our farmers to be climate smart with respect to livestock, with respect to those indexes, know what the numbers mean, and when we get that, they could know what are the mitigating factors that you could take to, so, to reduce the negative impact on, of climate change on our animals. I'm really grateful to be invited here at this forum that I could get another side of the picture and you know we could develop some collaborative effort moving forward that we can actually provide a more service to a wider agriculture than just crops. So this is a first for me and I hope that we would move forward in the future to develop an index, an instrument that we could apply to our livestock farmers. That also goes towards sustainable animal production and of course food security in terms of our protein security.